Greetings everybody, Jajawe here with another episode of my Game Block Decoded series, this time dealing with star modifiers, or actions, uh, the star equals, the star less than, and star more than, really basic, uh, if the star is equal something, you can do something, uh, if it is on this side of the line, it will reset your stars, or set them at the beginning of your game, but on this side, it becomes an action. So right now as the line reads here, the stars is equal to something, it will explode and go away. Now the world's very basic, I have three coins on this side of the wall, and I have three gems on that side of the wall. Now with the wall in the way, nothing's going to be able, you're not going to be able to get those, you're not going to be able to win. So essentially what we want is after we collect those three coins, the wall needs to go away. So once your stars, which is the game block's currency, uh, and if you're confused on that, check out some more of my other videos and you'll understand it a little bit better. Now, I've got my stars, when they equal three, the wall is going to explode and it's going to hide so it will effectively get out of the way. So let me show you that real quickly and how that actually pans out. Now you see the speech bubble there and I will explain that in a minute. So I hit three and the wall exploded and went away and now I can access my other gems. So as far as the instruction, the speech bubble there, I have and basically what that is saying is just giving you some sort of direction as to what to do. So I can put two different things. I can either do a star equals um, to several current or several of the stars, or while the stars is less than three, it will say that. So now when the stars is over three, it's not going to display that anymore, just like it did the first time. So, and I'll show you how that is. Again, we collect our three coins here. The wall explodes and goes away. And then the speech bubble goes away as well. And I can go into my gems. Now, there's another use. So, in the game block, and actually I don't need to do that, but in my gem, if I wanted to signify that, if I didn't want a multi-mission game, and I wanted to signify that it was time to go find this particular thing, I could put a star is more than three, because you will have collected the three coins already. Oops. You can then use the use icon there. So, before you get to Oops! Let's do that a little bit better. So before you get through the wall, you can see the icons at the top are the coins. And you collect all of those, and then once you collect this last one, the wall will go away, and that icon should change to the gem. So, ow! Whee! Which it did not. There we go. So I actually need to put that as more than two, which is no big deal and I should have thought about that before I did it, which I did not. Ask my wife, that happens a lot. So that's how you do that, and like I said, you can apply this to pretty much anything. I, there's a lot of creative people out there. I know you can make some really great games out of this. I hope this helps, and as always, like it if you like it.